Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at, eight. hold on, <laughs> 8.30 Mountain Time. I shouldn't have had that M&M. 8.30 Mountain Time. <laughs> Sneak it up on you. It's coming <laughs> back for revenge. To show you the thrifted items that we have purchased throughout the week that we are going to turn into high-end home decor for our store. Today we have the mother load. This is like a, a mega high end yeah. thrift haul, like from two states too, because so we got some thrifting. stuff from Arizona. We have some a bunch of stuff from here, all from uh, one store up here. It was yeah. crazy. It was awesome. We're super excited. If you guys want to shop along, everything is listed at jamierayvintage.com. No need to comment that you want to buy it. You just go to the website. It's under the Saturday Thrift Haul. And Caitlin is on here dropping links. So if you need that, you can do that. The one thing you need to remember is things sell fast and it is all listed now. So if you see something you like, don't wait till we show it because it could be sold. All right, let's go. We got to get this. Okay, I got candlesticks and stuff. And at some point, I'm going to start painting so that we can be ahead of the game this week. This candlestick, all wood, $5. This is from up here at the thrift store, the Deseret Industries Thrift Store in Saratoga Springs. Um, paid $5. It's $29.95. I think it's also like a pedestal. It's yeah, it's going to be painted. I, I bought it with intent to paint. Someone just kind of slapped some copper color on there. Thanks for sharing. We are going to be picking four share winners from this last week today because we missed the week before because we were out of town. We will send you some happy mail just for sharing this out. And we pick, a, we usually pick two, but today we're going to pick four. We'll do that. Oops. All right. I have two more very large candlesticks. These are very ornate. Um, these were $5 each. And we are selling the set both for $79.95. They're going to get painted up. Those are going to be so cool painted. Even if you just painted one color and brought the It looks like back. I also need to sand the bottom. They're rocky. That's probably why they ended up at the thrift store. They're resin, so that's weird that they did that. Thanks for sharing. Um, did it freeze? It's not freezing on my end. So maybe hop out and hop back in, Leslie. All right, let's see. Next up. So okay. that is a... I'm going to go with this big one. Okay, go ahead. So this is kind of a thrift store marriage. Jamie found these. They're these giant cabbage roses. They're like almost like a like a felty fabric. Like, like crepe. Paper. Yeah. And then I had this big vase. Uh, the vase was ten dollars. Uh, I don't know how much the flowers Those were. Those were a dollar for the pair. A dollar for, for the, the pair? pair? Yeah. And they fit perfectly in that vase. So we're going to paint the vase up super cute. Um, maybe put molds. I'm not really sure. Uh, is this embossed? Oh, that's embossed. So I don't yeah. know if I'm going to put molds. In. I think we can just it. paint it. Paint it cool. And then you'll get the flowers and the vase. How much is it for the pair? $79.95. $79.95. Okay, this. We'll show all the greenery right right here right okay. now. We got that one, and I'm going to pull these other so ones. So this is, this is cool because this is tin on the bottom. A lot of times these are like a plastic. Um, it was $2, great greenery, not even super dusty. A lot of times when we get it at the thrift store, it's got the kitchen fur, which is like a combo of cooking grease splattered everywhere and dust. And then, uh, or it's just really dusty. And this is neither. Uh, it was $2, it's going to be $26.95. Are we painting the bottom? No, We're going to do something fun? Is. Okay. I mean, we can't paint it's got it a cast. Sell. It's hard to see, but it's got a cast iron little topper here. So I think the black base is just kind of classic and matches the cast iron finial. So I didn't want to mess with it. Like, it's a really cool topiary. All right. It's good. It's not fake floral. It's faux. Faux, faux floral. Sounds bougie. Flow. Right. It's more high end. Um, The wedding is not for two more weeks. So somebody thought I was going to be at the wedding this week. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah. It's not, yep. not well, next weekend, but the weekend after. Yeah, I guess that is two weeks. It feels like it's like a week and a half. You're gonna, you, I'm, we're gonna blink and you're gonna be down there. All right. So this is little IKEA plant combo. The tub was from IKEA, and I think this was also from IKEA. But I think we got this from the DI, and this is from Arizona thrift store. No. Yeah. Unless you put no. that on there. Somebody had a yard sale. It didn't sell. It's got a oh, DI tag on it too. So the thrift store in Arizona had these little tags on them. All right, so you paid $1.50 for this and $2 for this. So $3.50 total, we're selling it for $19.95. We're going to paint it. This is getting painted. Because it's just boring. It needs some fun. All right, I almost have enough space here. I might start painting soon. 
Remember when I said I didn't want to reach across? You wanted all across? to be handed stuff. It's okay. I can hand and paint. Because when I reach across, sometimes there's unflattering angles of me. <laughs> uh, all right. This little fern also. Oh, yep. Yep. Totally in marriage. Well, it wasn't like that in the... No. This, I didn't marriage it. The marriage had already happened. greenery that they put in it at the thrift store. The whole thing was two bucks, and we are selling it for eighteen ninety five. This is fun. It's got like four little feet down here. That cute little um, IKEA plant with greenery just sold. The one, the silver one. Oh, nice. All right, let's show them this. This sold. This is like a little. I need some glue. Where does it need glue? Oh, yeah. All right, so this is like a little chippy white birdhouse situation. It's a birdhouse with a birdhouse on it. And it's got this little um, door in the back that opens. Hold on. Makes me want to sing a They Might Be Giants song. I don't know that I would let real birds live in here, but you could clean it out if they did. Um, and we're going to glue that back on. We paid, what do we pay? Oh, $3, and we sold it for $25. Look how, I like the scalloped edge. Look how cute that is. No, it's got a lot of detail So on cute. It. All right, I'm going to set this aside because it needs to be fixed. I hope you're keeping track of what will be painted and what won't be painted because I have not been. Okay. All right. These are some Avon frames and prints. I don't know much about the Avon stuff, but these were both made in Great Britain is what it says. So it's older because, you know, they've been the UK for a long time now. So I didn't even look at the back. I just used the Google reverse image to look that they were from Avon. Specially printed for Avon, these prints here. They're really pretty botanical prints. Some of them I found I them sell close. for like $20 each. We're selling the pair for $20. I just like the oval frames. I actually think those came from my sister, Deborah, if I remember correctly. Did we I, have them in the we've garage? Had, yeah, we've had a bunch of stuff like given to us over time. And so we're slowly incorporating into thrift hauls. Next week, we'll actually have quite a bit of stuff it was just in our garage that we never listed. So next week's thrift haul is going to be fun. We already They're thrifted. Elizabeth Shepherd. That's who made those prints. Nice. It is, the, is Shepherd the brand. I think it's the name of the print. And then Avon made them. All right. What next? What next? Oh, I'm going to. Here, you tell them about this. I'm going to see if I can repair this. Okay. So out. we just picked up these frames. They're five by seven ovals. They were $2 each. Oh, you need to fix this one too. Yeah. Well, okay. The glue the is glue, failing. The glue is they're brand new. Like Actually, don't glue it because then when we paint it, we don't have to worry about getting the back dirty. Okay. We'll glue it when we're done. All right. It's always such a pain. Sometimes I have to take a Sharpie and fix the black velvet. So we, we will glue them back together, but we're going to paint the frame. Super cute. Put a print in there, and these will be – oh, how much will these be? $19.95 each. I love oval frame. Can you tell? We have an oval frame I have frame a bunch thing. of new, like, test prints that I've been doing that we'll probably toss in there. So it should be something fun and new. Okay, next up we have a single pewter candlestick. It, it's lacquered, so it says do not polish. It was $2 and we're selling for $18.95. It's heavy, so it's definitely weapon grade. Super pretty. I like the base because normally they're round, but this has like an oval base. Mm -hmm. It's so heavy, I almost dropped it. Um, it has an oval weapon base grade. and it's really fun. It's just very classic designed. So this looks like it could almost be carved stone, but it's cast iron. We're going to paint it because I'm not a fan of the faux rust. Yeah, well, either way, it's super heavy. Um, do, do, this do, 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 was a dollar fifty at the thrift store. It's gonna be twenty four ninety five. People are loving the greenery. We sold the topiary. We sold the pot with the greenery. We're actually gonna paint that white pot because it has okay. a small chip. So I thought if we painted it, then you won't even notice in it. You know what else we sold them? Oh, okay. I thought that looked like a toothbrush holder for a bathroom. It's way too deep for that. It's a planter. It already has dirt in there. I bequeathed it a planter. Okay. I, I decided that's what it was. So I don't I don't have any clue like its origins, but there's people in this world that love certain animals and they will show up. Those animals are horses, cat people. Cat people always show up when you have cat stuff. Dog people. Dog people, but cats more than dogs. Yeah, true. I had some dogs that didn't sell for a while, but cats, they always sell. And frogs and elephants. Elephants. Those Occasionally all, a giraffe if it's a good giraffe. Yeah, but elephants, frogs, and cats. Sheep, like Sheep sell. Sheep sell. These are all good animals. So I knew this would sell. We paid $2 and sold it for $18.95. It's vintage. It's got a little crazing. A couple of small nicks, but like nothing crazy. And so cute. So whoever loves frogs must have picked that up. Or they bought it for a frog lover. So this is like a Beauty and the Beast situation. And it has this gold I Dream of Flowers down here. 
I don't know if I can get that off, but it's so tiny. I'm not going to worry about it. And this is like a light up. light up. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't put a battery in it, but it's got to go. We're taking it out. It's got to go. We're taking it out. No, well, you could leave the light, the twinkle lights, but the flowers got to go. No, I think, I think the twinkle lights got to go too. I actually don't like them how they're all they're wrapped cheapening in it. crazy. Little beauty and the beast situation going on here. Oh, done. All right, we'll fill this Smell little coming hole. coming back from that. And we're going to paint the base. <laughs> and then it'll just be like a really cute cloche that you could put like a pretty vase or something in. That was the plan right there because I thought that that was cool. It does say dream of flowers. So we probably need to update that listing. I didn't notice that. You missed it because it was hiding. But we could try to get Where's it Where's that little tiny sheep ornament that you picked up? I think that would be cool. We'll have to find it's, it later. It's Let's very see. underwhelming, but I think it could be cool in there. It'll be, it'll be not overwhelming, but it'll be like... Whelming. It'll be classic. It'll oh, be the it goal from underwhelming to whelming. Here it is. We this painted. we picked up in Arizona. It was just like sitting on a shelf with a pile of stuff. Um, it's and like sheep a, sell well. Yes, they do, Deborah. It's like a plaster little sheep ornament, but the hanger is in the front. Like it's meant to be um, like it's being led. I don't know, but it's so cute. I had, it's like it's a very little old felted, plaster. felted ornament. Yeah. Oh, Les says turtles. Turtles also sell. Oops. Not as much as frogs, though. There's Frog the people focus. are serious people. You can see how small it is on my hand here. It's tiny. But. And it sold. It was so only $4.95. I don't even know how much we paid for it. I took it up there to that thrift store in Arizona. And. Okay. Two rolling pins. Not going to sell. This one has metal in the end. It's a vintage rolling pin. Um, and it's going to be $22.95. We'll, we'll, we will clean the pie dough off of it. And this is a pasta roller. It's got a few like chinks in it, which I included a picture of it. Um, and this is probably one of the most requested items this week that people wanted to purchase before the live. But we yeah. don't do that. You can't buy these things before the live. You have to. We to don't... keep it fair, we list them all at once and then they go live on the website and first come, first serve on the website. This was, I think this was $2 as well. It's like maybe buying three. tickets to a concert. $26.95. You got to hustle. And I guess you make <laughs> pasta with it. Um, okay. That's what I heard. Yeah. So these were from Arizona. What do you think, guys? Is sheep too small? I think it's actually kind of cool. Might be too small. Uh, yeah, I think like a little skinny base or something. Technically, they go live five minutes before the live video. Yeah, because Caitlin makes them live, and she can't make them live and get the live going. So we, like, make the thrift haul up. She sends all the notifications, and then we go live at 830. Look at this scrap wood rooster. This looks like it's made out of pine. Could be poplar. It's going to get painted, but probably just like a dry brush. Nothing crazy, just to kind of give it a little bit of variation in tone because the weathered wood is good. I just thought a little dry brush would be perfect. Um, it's going to be $42.95, and it was $3. It's good. In all your spare time, I'm going to need you to make more of those. Um, out of all the scrap pieces of wood that I have, because I've got an abundance of those. <laughs> True story. All right, next up, tote. This is a red tote. It was two dollars. Originally was from Hobby Lobby, I think. Looks, I recognize like the the tag, um, and it's got one of those weird paint finishes where they like the machine put scratches black it off. on top of a red. We're gonna repaint it. And then I don't know for sure, but probably stencil something like industrial, or we could even go like girly and floral. I don't know, but it's going to get painted. It's going to look old and chippy. It'll be better than this. Vote and below industrial or girly and floral. And it's going to be $28.95 either way. Even if they vote, I can't promise I'm going to remember. <laughs> but you can vote anyways. I was like, to what be do honest. you want to see? All right. So we've got these. Uh, these are vintage or antique? antique oh, that's they have, seated glass. Yeah. One of them has a chip, so it's $10.95. Uh -huh. And this one actually has an imperfection in the glass. That but it makes it more expensive. No. <laughs> it's $14.95 and this one's $14.95. It's like a drip. And they all have, I put the number so you can pick. This one's a number eight and it's without the chip. The one with the chip is a number seven, lucky number seven. I this guess is it was, number four. I guess it was unlucky. And then that was number four. So you get to pick the number of the jar that you want. Because some people are very specific. They're looking for a certain number in their collections. I, I don't know what it means, but mm. yeah, we I should, just think they're We should cute. probably educate ourselves on I that. probably should see why the numbers Since are Since we important. also love the old jars. Okay. 
little bird cage. Little romantic rose bird cage there. This has a good chippy finish already. Are we going to add to this chippy finish? No, I'm selling it as this. It was only a dollar fifty. Can you believe it? A dollar fifty. Like any other thrift store, that would have been like six to eight dollars. Yeah, we're selling it for nineteen ninety five. Some places I hear this would be like twelve ninety five at the thrift store. I don't know. That's steep. I'm like, thank goodness for my thrift stores. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Big Somebody box. said girly and floral. Girly and floral. And Susan said sold. I don't know. Susan, if you want to buy something, you it's all on the website. So I just want to make sure. I don't know if that's why she said sold, but I don't want to confuse people. Because some live sales, you comment that you want it, and then you get it. But ours, it's all on the website at jamierayvintage.com. You have lots of those to I, put these, together. I, well, I've been buying a lot of the oval frames. I've been digging them. i got to do some repairs to them. It's going to be A-OK. -okay. The rolling pin did sell, yes. The 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 pasta one sold. All right. Remy wanted to see it, but Caitlin said that it sold, so. I have a cracker one from Sweden in the back, but that one's that not one's for sale. That one's NFS, not for sale. That's my, I found it at Round Top, and I'm keeping it. Yeah, this already <laughs> did sell. Okay, perfect. Oh, she's replying to a question. All right, perfect, Susan. I just want to make sure I never want somebody to think that it like get confused because I would feel bad. All right. Once repairs are done, this frame will be $24.95. It was a dollar fifty, but of course we're gonna put some fun art in there. It's plastic, so it's definitely gonna get like some yeah. salt wash to add some texture and elevate it. Like I always look at the shape and can I make it look better? The fall is going to be Zeb's era of old world, like plaster kind of finishes. Cause I, I'm not going to use plaster. I'm probably going to use salt wash, but I really want to do a ton of frames. Like I did a frame like that probably about three or four months ago and I loved it. And I'm going to go back to that and do a bunch of them all at once. Are you going to actually help me paint the thrift hall? When? I don't know. Whenever. I can't. I can't help you paint the thrift hall if we have a cottage project still going. So don't be promising things. I said the era. It's coming in for the fall. Oh, well, I gotta you said be when. I, was like, I gotta oh. be done by summer with Karen, that cottage. Karen said I, she liked me in the, the ball cap that I was wearing. You know who she's, else likes me in ball caps? She's pretty cute in a ball cap. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear them a ton because sometimes they give me a headache. But it is nice when I'm like sweaty and working outside to have a ball cap just like keep my hair clean because my hair gets dirty. Okay, another example of fantastic frame. If you see us getting lots of frames, it's because we can't keep them in stock. We're trying to hang them in the shop and they sell faster than we can find Not them. complaining. I will keep buying frames all day long. They're relatively- It's like the best problem to have ever. <laughs> yeah, especially when they're detailed like this, they're relatively simple to paint because I will just spray this one color, distress back this black, possibly add some wax and then put a print in it and it just, makes it high end it with not a lot of work and it goes from something that costs where's the price on this i don't know what did you do with it i didn't take it i think it's 29.95 but I it don't. is going to be 29.95 once we put some art in there and paint i made it, it three bucks um, Let's just guess. most of these frames are two dollars or less this size if they fit an eight by ten they're about two dollars sometimes three max vicky says she needs store. a marriage for her clothes she said i need you oh well we'll look you have a no close, you need, you need like a base for it. How big is it? That's the question. Thanks for sharing Dana. All right. We are going to move on to these really cool, like, I don't even know. They're like ceiling tiles, but they're not. They've got floral I feel like on them. They're all one note right now though. I feel like they need some paint and some distress back so that you can see the detail. Yeah. Cause, Cause from back here, they probably look pretty washed out. Probably paint distress and a dry brush because they have detail but it's not like crevice detail. So a lot of times when you try to wax something like this, it pulls back off. So I'll dry brush these. See, see how detailed that is. They were $2 each and then they're not priced. Are they all florals? I think yeah, they're, they're all, all florals. florals and they have hangers on every side. So you can hang it however you want, whatever direction you need it to go. Oh, they'll be $16.95 painted. They're sold individually. All right. I'll give those to you. No, now that there's hangers on every side, I'm not sure. Oh, okay, it's pretty easy to tell which end is up. All right, I think it's called federal glass, if I remember correctly. I'm not really good at this stuff. Is it federal, imperial? I'll wait, I'll wait till Caitlin puts it up because I put it in the listing. So I've been using a lot of Google Lens to like find out what things are because in the past, I know what some things are valued at, 
but I've way undersold stuff because I had no idea what it was. So I've started using the pictures, putting it into Google Lens and looking it up on multiple platforms to see what the average price is and then trying to price it below that. So I'm just waiting for Caitlin to drop the link, but these were $1.50 each. They're beautiful candy dishes. I bought them not because of the name of what they are, but just because they're gorgeous. Every time I found them, they've sold fairly quickly and I'm gonna sell them for $14.95 each. Oh, Indiana. Oh, Caitlin, can you fix that? So I, it says vintage Indians. It should be vintage Indiana glass. <laughs> uh, looks like Siri took control. <laughs> I don't know. I was dealing with, I was actually by the pool watching the boys swim while I was trying to get the thrift haul in. I was being a good mom. This is a dive bomber butterfly. It is big carved wood. I imagine this is hand carved because it would be too expensive to actually have a CNC machine do this because <clears throat> the CNC machines that can do like the, uh, the five axis or whatever it takes to do this kind of stuff are in high demand for more important things than butterflies, I think. Hey, butterflies are pretty important. I actually do love butterflies. It's Thanks, one, Caitlin. She it's one it. of our favorite little animals to find out in the wild is butterflies. Jamie gets super excited when she sees them on the property. I love butterflies. They just kind of flutter around from flower to flower. Doing it's why thing. I plant wildflowers, butterflies and bees and birds. Oh, anyway, this was $2. <laughs> it's going to be $14.95. I still have like like a peanut M and M that went on the wrong. I didn't I, eat dinner, so I grabbed four peanut M and Ms for protein. I had I enough lunch, and it was late enough. I probably won't be what hungry do we eat for again. Lunch? Oh, we, tuna, we fish. Had tuna fish. I only had a half a sandwich. Open face tuna fish sandwiches. I should have eaten more. Um, there is like a slight crack in this, but we're not painting it just because I love the natural wood the way that it is. This was the swan that got so many comments. So many comments really yeah like in your video i don't remember getting lots of comments got a few hmm. um hmm. but everyone was worried about how fragile it is and i am also worried about how fragile it is and shipping it um so my plan is to put like bubble wrap around it and then fill the bubble wrap in with packing peanuts so there's not a void yeah that, because yep be i'm gonna bottle, bubble wrap the neck then bubble wrap but leave kind of the butt open so to speak <laughs> shove it full of peanuts then tape it all down and then box it and then possibly put or at least put cardboard around it and then have another box do you remember how much it was um like two or three dollars i lost the oh it's going to be 28.95 sometimes i take the price tags off when i photograph it them is and I can't sturdy get back on. it survived us it survived getting to the thrift store the manhandling at the thrift store, getting in our car, getting home, being moved out of the garage because we cleaned the garage and going on a shelf. The manhandling is not by us at the thrift store, typically. Typically, we're not manhandlers. I did break something the other day. It was like the first thing I've broken in years. And they were like, it was okay. It wasn't priceless. All right. This is kind of cool. It was $1.50. Um, it's solid American walnut crafted, crafted by Fitzhugh. Fitzhugh. Yep. And it's mid-century modern. I actually didn't look at the bottom of that either. You know how I knew how to do it? Google, Google lens. Google lens. I Googled it. So yeah, I'm glad yeah. that it has a label on the bottom. So that's a really important mid-century modern, um, woodworker. And so we're not painting it surprisingly enough. We're going to leave it as is. It was $1.50. It's going to be $12.95. It's, it's really cool. I love I love hand-turned stuff, and this is a good piece. It's got a little bit of, like, it's it's a, a um, sealer coming off the bottom, but it's, it's in good shape still. Um, and that swan is by Duncan Miller. So, all right, Super Chat. Thank you, Distressed Darlin. Let's see what she says. I'm going to scroll back. It says, you guys are my favorite. Have dinner on me or something. Thank you. I appreciate, appreciate that. that. Dinner is uh, always appreciated More than just around peanut M&Ms. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, well, the boys actually, I taught Redrick how to make baked pasta because he had his friends over and Jack had a friend over. They were starting to go through the fridge aimlessly and not finding what they wanted. I thought it was a good time for life lessons. So they ate and they had a little bit left over. So I might just heat that up because I, I watched him make it. So I know it's good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Vicky says she has plastic grapes for that swan. Is that a thing? Do people put plastic grapes in the swan? Um, okay. Just make sure I'm not missing any other questions. Leslie said, I don't see my chicken. That one did up there. Leslie, did you buy this chicken? Did you get the chicken? Is this the chicken in question? Why don't you show her the chicken? This came, this chicken came from, 
No, it came from here. I thought it came from Arizona, no. but didn't it came from here? No, it's going to be, it was originally $2 at the thrift store. We're painting it up crazy. It's going to be $34.95. The feathers are the cool part. Let me bring it close so I'm you can see it. I'm not painting it crazy. I'm going to paint a weathered wood and do a white dry brush to bring out the detail. It's going to be wild, Leslie. She's it's probably going to be gonna, wild and crazy. She's probably going to go orange for the first time ever. I am not. Thank you for that super chat. Sally says, hi, guys. Glad to see you survived your visit to Arizona. It's a furnace here. It's almost 100 here, Sally. Not that not that, that means anything with that's 114. Like, that's like middle of the night temperature for her. Not even. We get down like in the high 60s at night, but we're going to be high 90s for like the next 10 days. My sister lives in Tucson, and she said she got like a monsoon storm, and it was like the evening time, like 7 o'clock at night. The storm moved through. It was still 104 degrees. It's like boiling water. <laughs> Not quite, but that's hot. All right. We, we buy these planters with the intent we want to do like a little succulent garden in, at the shop and, and sell them with succulents in them. But guess what? You Everybody guys are scooping them up before we can get succulents in them. <laughs> I'm not sad. Eventually, it's kind of like dishes for a while. I couldn't keep dishes in stock, but I've been buying enough of them that I feel like I have enough dishes that when the cottage is done, we will have plenty to put in there. We'll um, have options. We normally paint them, but I decided to leave that one as is because I like the coloration This is on a it. terracotta made to look like cement, and it's a good cement. Yeah, it's a good look, so we're leaving it as is. I don't like to have everything painted in the shop. I like a mix. And I need more unpainted. Well, pots. it's really good. Earth tones are really grounding and calming. They soothe you when you see them. It gives your your eye a place to rest, especially in decor. If you've got like really busy, bright decor, get yourself some earth tones and it'll it'll balance real nice. For $14.95, you can have balance. Look at you selling that pot. Now sell the basket. What's so great about that? It's I, I love this basket. I love how thick the uh, the weaving is. And it's sturdy. When I when you pick this basket up, you feel like you could probably put like twenty or thirty pounds of whatever in here. And I'm not verifying that. I don't know. I'm probably putting twenty or thirty pounds in it right now. Hold, please. Careful with my dishes. They'll be all right. They're not going anywhere. Fill it. I thought we were gonna try to get through this haul quickly. Zeb's like doing demonstration purposes. Sometimes you just gotta have some demo time but not the kind of demolition time, demonstration time. All right, so that's probably like 10 to 15 pounds. Oh, it's not even creaking. It's not even like, it totally could do 20 pounds in here. Oh, you're waving at the neighbors. Yeah, yeah, they have the most beautiful dogs. They got some really pretty huskies. I tell them every time they go by, they need some sleds to just be drug around or some longboards or something. Oh, and there goes a bunch of teenagers. Because those huskies are pulling on those leashes. <laughs> we can sit and watch traffic all day. Anybody that's... I'm seeing pictures of my house. We don't have any curtains in like where we film at. So uh -huh. you can see people walk by. People are like, aren't you scared people are going to look at you? I'm like, people are looking at us all the time on camera. And this is just our dining room. So worst case, they see us cooking dinner. So I think this would be best used probably in a kitchen or garden setting, collecting your vegetables. And then you oh, could just leave them almost. Basket. Yeah, really good little harvest basket. And then you could just bring them in the house and leave them till you need to use them. $22.95. And if it doesn't sell, that might be my harvest basket. Yeah, because it's, I mean, good. can you imagine this thing full of lettuce and tomatoes That's and like peas? one day's worth of zucchini. <laughs> All right, here, this is like an old <laughs> cheese crock with a lid. It's like a big one though. And it's missing like what would have been the like handle, which is fine by me. I'm going to put an IOD transfer in their traditional pots. They have white transfers and they pair really well with brown crockery. And I just love it has a cute little lid um, and it'll be $19.95 once I put a transfer on the front. And I have been showing um, the gals at the shop how to do the transfers. So I'll probably show Kaziah this week. And then after that, they can just, when they come, that's one step they can do without me because they really like to use them. They're simple and easy to use. Yeah, both of them are pretty crafty and we keep them so busy shipping. We got to They got to craft it We got to get them crafting a little bit here and there. Do you want to show this pattern? I'm going to show. Why don't we show all that stuff there and then you can get started painting. Okay. All right. Little jar holder. I don't know what size jar. That looks like it would hold a pint. You could fit quart. No, no. no don't, pints. Don't, don't be telling pints. people quarts. I don't think I have any pints. Pints. They would oh, be yeah, in yeah. the drinking jars. Pints. Winner. 
Oh, um, let me fix the camera. I don't love the farmer's market situation, so it's going to get painted up super cute with a new stencil. And it's embossed, so I'll probably have to sign that before I paint it. But yeah, you can fit four pints. How cute would that be with fresh flowers in it? Or you could put your um, like artist brushes, colored pencils. This is a really cute um, organizer or for decor. All right, I better put that back so that way when we need a drink, we got a jar. Everything is a little dusty from all the dust we blew around in the garage. We still have not, uh, I, I want to call it a remediation of dust. <laughs> we still have not had that happen, um, but we're getting there. It's getting close. This is an enamel roaster, and I actually love it. It's stamped USA right under the handle here. I'll bring it close so you can see it. And if Bohemian Blue ever had an enamel color, I think this would be it. It's like a speckled boho blue from DIY. Paint. I've been buying roasters because Thanksgiving is coming, and so enamel roasters, like the vintage ones, sell well for us. Um, and we sold one last week, so I bought one more because I like to have a good selection through Thanksgiving of roasters. And then I kind of take a break on them for a while and then I'll start buying them midsummer again. It's kind of cyclical. Is that the word cyclical? Oh, and it has, it has the little, uh, I don't know, the little tree on the bottom. I don't know what you call that, but I feel like it helps the gravy spread the juices. So this is like a uh, Eagle and star. And I looked it up. I can't, it's by T it's a tiara exclusive and it's actually quite collectible. I saw these, well over twenty dollars i just love the finial i love the americana look of it um and i paid two dollars and i'm selling for 14.95 again i had no idea that it was collectible but here let me I show them cool. let me show them close you show them up close? yeah it needs a scrub but look at all this every every edge 19.95 oh sorry i read the wrong that's a nine it looks like a four, but it's a nine. Sorry, nineteen ninety-five. I thought that was low because right. I saw them super high. Speaking okay, hold on. It's vintage Indiana glass. So same brand as that roughly one, Indiana glass. Oh, maybe not an Indian. Together. Indiana. Speaking of cat people, we got something for you. Cats plus succulents. Plus the cats drinking coffee. <laughs> how how cute is that? And it sold. Oh, it's gone. It was a dollar at the thrift store. We sold it for seven ninety-five. Yeah, I knew it was going to sell. I don't know who bought it. Let, let me see. When I saw it, I was thinking of my friend Donna, but I don't know who bought it. And she confirmed when she watched the video, she's like, yeah, I like that. It's cute. <laughs> and she's the one who bought it. Nice. Good job, Donna. Way to be quick on the website and scoop that up. You didn't have to, but I did. I was thinking of you when I saw it. It's cute. Okay, let's show them the clock. This clock is amazing. I think I don't, I was going to paint it tonight, but I think I'm going to pass because it needs molds. We want to do like some big molds, maybe something around here, dress it up quite a bit. Either mold or like stencils. And I'm going to find the right stencils because I want to make it look Swedish. Yeah, as far as shelf sitter clocks go, this one is like the granddaddy of shelf sitter clocks. Originally from Pottery Barn, so it was not cheap um, when it was for, I would say it's probably over $100 with this kind of ugly we paid fifteen dollars for it it has been broken at some point there's like a crack here but it's been repaired it's all nice and sturdy and when we paint it you won't know um but it's going to be 89.95 when it's all done beverly says i got my first cottage color also i saw on there somebody said can you use milk paint over cottage color and you absolutely can um cottage color is a great base coat because it's a built-in sealer so you should be able to wet distress and get some chippy if you paint milk paint over the top of it. Ooh, ooh, thanks for sharing out, guys. We have 853 people watching right now. What are you going right to now? paint the chicken? Um, the chicken that sold, it's going to be painted weathered wood with a white dry brush. I can do that. I can do that tonight. I'm going to do that in just a minute. I'm going to start there. I think you should paint that giant thing that you bought. This chest is just really cool. I got it because, look, guys, look it. Look it, look it has a drawer. It has a drawer. I love it so much. And it's in pretty good shape. I like the It does have a dent in the back on the front. But I'm going to push that back. I, I keep having to like peek around the corner. So this pockets. was I think I paid 10 bucks for it. Oh, yeah, 10 bucks at the thrift store. It's going to be 99.95 painted up. That's a full chest. Fixed up. 
treasure this chest. is this is fabric but you can fun fact you can paint a lot of fabric all right little baby ceiling tile here with a buck it's going to get painted up and it'll be 9.95 i i think there's a lot of people that watch this that are resellers and i just want to give a shout out for having all kinds of price points in our shop we have things that are expensive like two three hundred dollars sometimes we have things that are over a thousand dollars in our shop but I always try to have items that are cute, even things that I've taken time to paint that are under $10. So that way people can come in with different budgets and there's always something that they can afford and take home with them, especially- and people do, they just, they come in and they buy just one thing and sometimes it's like $2.95. Yeah. Well, a lot of people travel and they come see us and they wanna take home something that we painted. So never underestimate the power of smaller items that you can paint quickly, but you can add a little like of your own touch to to have in your booth or your store. I cannot say enough about it because I always want to have things that people can afford. They may not be able to afford everything, but I have price points, like Zeb said, all the way down to bucks. Okay, so this was $2. It needs to be um, fixed. And I'm gonna paint it up, probably put maybe some decoupage paper or a transfer on the end. I did a few with the sheet decoupage paper and they were so cute, sold super fast. Um, and it's going to be $22.95 once it gets a facelift. Oops, sorry. All right. This chicken, chicken looks shiny, but it's only in a couple spots up top here. I probably do need to wipe that off, though. There's a couple little chicken fur situations. The uh, did I say chicken fur? I meant chicken chest fur. sold. Ooh, nice. Oh, it did sell. It's cool. Uh, oh, Vicky gonna... said she's the one who bought my pastoral cow tote. That tote is cute. All right, we already showed this. Okay, moving along. Let's do some transfer wear. Actually, I'm going to do really this. Really quick while she's grabbing all of that. I'm going to paint this in weathered wood. This is from DIY Paint. You can get it on the same website as all of this stuff, jamierayvintage.com. And same as the brushes, the wax I'm going to use. If you want to do your own projects, if you've got stuff that's been sitting around your house, we have we have what you need. Get her done. We had to do that. We actually have been working on preparing to clean our garage for uh, what, four months? <laughs> You've probably been hearing me say, I'm trying to clean stuff out of my garage. I'm trying to clean stuff out of my garage. And I, rather than like move up a bunch of stuff, I've been slowly pulling it out and painting it. So that way when we went to clean the garage, we didn't have to move a bunch of stuff that needed painted. So if you need your projects done, we got your paint. All right, Deb purchased this. Um, it was $2 and we're selling for $14.95. It's just like a little flower. I use it for fruit or eggs. Yeah, fruit dish, egg bowl, super cute. Not going to paint it because I kind of like the um, aged dark finish on it. Wasn't the colorful round chicken from this week? I don't know. We got everything from this week out. So Everything from this week is I've out. I thrifted twice this week, so I'm like, it's all blurry. Because yeah. we've already thrifted for next Pioneer week. Pioneer Day is a state holiday on Monday. Oh, I just got. And the thrift stores closed. Oh, careful. Watch out. Sorry. And so we had to, we normally do thrifting on Monday. We had to go brave the Saturday crowd. And let me tell you, there's like. It's chaos. There's like 200 people in the thrift store. And then we went to Costco. More chaos. Yeah. I was happy to be home. Now I know why we go during the week. We're self-employed. We don't typically shop at stores on Saturday unless we have to. Because we can work on Saturday and shop during the week. I know we make Lehigh look like a quaint little town, but it's 90,000 people. And it's sandwiched in between like four or five more towns that are the same size as that. Yeah, pretty big. <laughs> All right. This set is Mason's Vista England. Um, acid resisting. One of them says ironstone on them. What is this, though? I put that it was a steamer because it had holes. So I figured there's something steaming. I'm guessing maybe something to do with tea. Uh, I don't know. Maybe incense? Is that what it is? We don't drink tea. So I don't drink tea really, it. and I don't do incense. But anyways, this piece, whatever it is that steams, I'm guessing, is $19.95. I bought the whole set for $35. This bowl is $9.95. This serving bowl with handles is actually in really good condition. Um, yeah, it says patent ironstone. It's $26.95. Look how pretty. For Christmas, this is definitely something I would display with. And then this oval bowl is $19.95. And I saw price points all over the place. And these are all pretty good. They might have some small flea, blight, flea bites, but no big chips. Is it that a string keeper, a honey pot? 
I don't know. Oh, do you put your strings through there and pull oh, your... Oh, Sammy Lynn said she bought the chest for all her card keepsakes. That's oh, the perfect size. nice. All right, let's see. Is there any... I don't know. So far, I'm not sure what this is. I looked on Google Image and I couldn't tell, but it's cute. Maybe you put flowers in. It's like a flower frog. Oh, that would be cool. But it doesn't seem like the right thing because it looks like it yeah. goes with this. Set. But you could use it for flowers. That's my idea. Okay, so creamer and saucer, $16.95 for the pair. And then we have, I'm guessing these are finger bowls where you clean your fingers or maybe a sauce bowl because these are pretty small. Or like portion control for your ice cream. I don't know. What? Who wants that? No one wants that. No. Four ninety five each, and you can do whatever you want with portion these little bowls. Control. And then I have, I normally don't buy saucers without teacups, but I love this pattern, so I bought the entire set, and I didn't care. Um, these are three ninety five dollars each. Again, this entire set was $35 at the thrift store. So these saucers are three ninety five, dollars and then I have a couple bigger saucers for four ninety five. dollars I picked up, you guys haven't seen it yet, but I picked up a huge set for $50. And they sold it as a set, but it's not all exactly matching, which it's kind I of like. mixed matched. Because I actually don't prefer to buy giant sets of things that all match because it takes a while to sell, but it's a mix and match. Honestly, rose most set. people that are buying this are like, oh, I have that set, but I'm missing the creamer. Yeah, so I sell them individually. So watch next week, it's going to be good. All right, I'm going to be careful. I'm pulling this around. So you don't have to heat gun your paint. This is the clay-based paint. I'm just doing it because it'll help it dry fast and I can get a project finished while we're still live for you. Okay, this is actually for the silverware. I'm doing something that you probably wouldn't expect because you think I'd sell it all in a set. But in my store, I love to have multiples and this is not a complete set. It's totally random. There's like one, but it's like one butter knife and one serving spoon, 42,000 teaspoons. Like, it's just a weird set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell the box. Let me pull this off because it's too cute to have that on there. It's got kind of a French image on the top. The box is gonna be $14.95. I will send this with it in case you want to put silverware in it, but I actually just think the box is cute for decor. I love the, the cute little gal, the Victorian I think that would be a really awesome in like a sewing room with a bunch of buttons and stuff in it. Or all your bobbins. Oh, yeah. Or um, embroidery thread. I mean, it's made for silverware, but we're like, no, let's not put silverware well, in Well, it. it's totally <laughs> random because there's just not like a full set of silverware. So instead of selling the whole time to sell them individually, I paid $10 for the box and all the silverware. I'm going to give you the breakdown. The teaspoon is $3.95 and the tablespoon, the fork is also $3.95. The butter knife is three ninety five. The butter spreaders are two ninety five, and the serving spoon is four ninety five. So none of them. Did you go show them close the pattern? It's got no, a really great pattern on that. None of the and these are all um, silver plated. None of them um, are super expensive, but a lot of times people buy these and they'll make rings out of the handles. It, once I sell them all, I will make way more than trying to sell the whole set. And most people don't want a whole set. So here's the. See if it'll focus. I'm trying to cover up your face so that way it'll focus. Oh, uh, there we go. Maybe. Yeah, to just keep tapping it. And it's also it's got like flowers on it. I don't know if you can see that. So it's just a really pretty. Would make some gorgeous rings. And I love to display these like in little cups, and people will come thumb through them. I've sold out almost all of my. Um, I had a bunch of tarnished silver and I've sold almost all of it. So I'm glad to restock. Sorry, I had like a sentence I was trying to spit out there a minute ago and I repeated myself like eight times. Did I distract you? Did, you, I, did I interrupt you? You might have. I probably did. I probably but it's okay. I probably interrupted you. I'm just apologizing because I try to sound like I know what I'm talking about. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show from up here and then I'll go back. We've got these butter dishes. They used to say butter, but we took them off because they're Ray done and it was like a vinyl on there. It wasn't. What's the price of these? Oh, does it not? They were get, a buck each and I have not no get idea. Marked. I think they're like $7.95 or $8.95 I just each. love them because they're simple. I can't remember now. Don't quote me on that. They're, they're, they're right in that You want to look and see what if Caitlin puts a link up? Okay, this was a dollar fifty, and it's going to be nine ninety five. Seven ninety five. Seven ninety five for, the glass for these butter dishes. Glass butter dishes, and the ceramic one is nine ninety five. 
People come in and they want basics. And it still says Ray Dunn on the bottom. Yeah. Not that it matters because we've removed the button. Oh, it's right there. Oh, sorry. Okay, this little teapot was a dollar. It's going to get a little IOD transfer on it, and it'll be $14.95. If you want to see what they look like with IOD, go in the Thrift Hall collection. I have three or four, if you scroll back a ways, um, that have the IOD on them. Next up, cute little brass sailboat, little mid-century modern action going on here. It's weighted. So it's not weight. Well, I guess it's not weighted. It's just heavy. I love so that it's... sailboat. That came from Arizona. Yep. And it was how much? Like two bucks? Yeah, two. And it'll be $18.95. It's got a little tarnish on it. You can polish it, but I like it as is. Next up, this is from the personal Jamie Ray collection. We actually sell these little cast iron birds. They're like placeholders. Let me see if I can um we sell them on our website for like 22 dollars, but these are were mine and i am cleaning and organizing so i'm selling the set of four of these for 12.95 so pretty good price and they're pretty, it's not like cast iron ever goes bad it's basically brand new they're just not in their box sorry guys i can't see comments from here and jamie's up front that's well, okay we'll i'm gonna do to two minute. more things up close uh, or maybe i'll do three and then i'll push that back and do the rest okay so this is made in england it's a Price Brothers Creamer. It was $2. And I just dropped the price tag. So cute. It's got the like the gold on the edge. So you can't put it in the microwave. Not that you would anyways. And it's got some really good crazing. And it's going to be $14.95. That came from Arizona. I bought the turkey bowl. I have the platter in the shop. Thanksgiving is coming. So I'm super excited to have it. This is His Majesty Johnson Brothers Made in England. And it's $17.95 for the bowl. So if this doesn't sell tonight, it'll get staged up with the matching platter in the shop. Next up, uh, Alan Gibson made in England. Just pretty lilacs. Perfect for an afternoon tea. Gold edge. It was 2 bucks, and we're selling it for $8.95. All right, I'm going to go back to my post and I will read comments. All right, I'm almost ready to white wax this. I'm going to let that cool for a second while I go grab some white wax, and then we'll get going. Oh, I got to push that back. I feel like it already looks better, all one color. All right, I don't see any questions, so I will keep checking. I have this really cool gravy boat. It actually must have been made by somebody because it was Uncle Frank and Aunt Nita Love, Larry and Cora, Christmas 1979. So I know it's at least from the 70s. And it's going to be $24.95. I love gravy boats like this because the plate doesn't get lost. It's attached. <laughs> it's just a really pretty scalloped edge and detail. You don't find a lot of them with this kind of detail. And it's a nice weight, too. All right. DIY white wax. It's very creamy. This brush is going to be a surprise. It's a prototype. Oh, we're, you're not dry brushing We're it. testing it out. No, I'm going to wax it. All right. Next up, I thought this would be cute for succulents. It does have a little chip in it. It's Mikasa. And it was a dollar, and I'm selling it for $9.95. Just cute little, almost ironstone-esque piece. And it's from Japan. Okay, so this is very warm, so it's kind of melting the wax because I've been heat gunning it at like 100 degrees for the last 10 minutes. Cute little salt and pepper shaker. They were a dollar for the set. I'm selling them for $9.95. These are the Pioneer Woman. I actually had this set at one point. I don't no, think No, I think they're it. still in the drawer. No, are they? If they are, it's the only thing that survived the move because I didn't move anything else. Cute. See, sometimes people want just a salt and pepper shaker. And if I recall, I had to buy a whole set when I got them. Tina, the Craftsman Toolbox does have the red caddy in it. I actually just hosed that down um, two days ago. You put that back inside the shop, right? I did not. Where is it? It was where we found it this morning. So I thought you got it. I went and fed the cow. Is it still there? I hope so. <laughs> well, it probably is. I washed it and put it outside to dry. So go ahead and buy it. If for some reason somebody stole it, we'll refund you. But it does have the red caddy in it. It's a really good toolbox. All right. Um, we'll have to go check on Buttercup with all these. Uh, why? Why you? Well, I gotta go. And uh, could you be careful? You're getting white wax like all over that stuff. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, it's because it's warm. I know. Oh, I know like it's it, not. A, usually I'm the one right making off. a mess, so I kind of like it when you do. So that way when you get mad at me for making a mess, I can be like, but I you never, did it. I never get mad. So somebody just bought the chest only box. 
I love it. Okay, let's talk about Ray Dunn. Used to be real popular, not as expensive anymore, but still a good seller. And I'm not seeing the black, but also I'm not like a huge collector, so I don't know. Teapot, it was $2. We're selling it for $16.95. And then each of these mugs was a dollar each, and we're selling them for $6.95. This one is gold. We got mom and honey. And I guess there's some honey. This is from Magenta, but like there's a different label on the bottom that apparently is rare. I don't know. I sold it for $6.95 because I had no idea. It passes the Debbie Beard coffee mug test because you can fit four fingers in it. Apparently that's important. I don't know. When I'm drinking hot cocoa, I just <laughs> like it to be chocolatey. So of note, where the red was on the comb is uh, going to come off more because it was shinier. And I'm going to leave that off. I'm not going to worry about full coverage on that. It's going to look like it was distressed and aged. It's going to be great. CJ says that she still loves and collects Ray Dunn. I still think it's super cute. And I think it's not as crazy. Like it used to be like $40 for a mug or whatever. It was insane. I think it's something that will hold its value over time. It's just not as like ridiculous as it used to be, which is kind of fun because it makes it attainable. Uh, my cousin Stephanie's on here. Hey, Stephanie. Um, Cooper's on here. Hey, Cooper. All right, next up, this was a Zeb pick. I looked it up. It is collectible. It's the Sunny Side Noritake made in Japan, creamer and sugar dish complete in very good condition and i saw these actually go i saw a set for like 40 or 50 dollars it was crazy what? i'm selling it for 19.95 and did we get this in when that's we from arizona yeah so i think we paid like a couple bucks each so we're like four bucks and we're selling set for 19.95 and it made it home in our checked bag yep all in one piece that's always a gamble that's why you uh you buy as low as you can because sometimes the shipping will get you just making sure I'm not missing anything. All right. Next up, we have, I did not realize this, but this is a German shaving mug. Oh, that's cool. I'm like, well, that's fancy. I don't, is it like for shaving? Like for shaving cream? I have no idea. But it says Germany on the bottom. We picked this up while we were in Arizona and we got some comments on the video that it was a German shaving mug. And when I Google image this, sure enough, it was. And we're selling for $14.95. And it's got kind of like... Um, you should show it Opal. close. It's got a. Did, was it supposed to have more handle, or is it just the one finger? Yeah. There we go. It's it's really soft. It's hard to tell, but it's almost got like an opalescent finish on it. It's cute. All right, so this is like a a replica Asian vintage Asian tea basket situation. I had no idea. I'm gonna paint it up. It was a dollar fifty, and I'm gonna sell it for twenty nine ninety five once it's painted up cute. And it's wood and tin. And darling and when these are actually like legit antique they can get pretty expensive next up we have this really cool vintage i'm i call it like a brass dish i think but i think it could be a planter it's shallow um and it's heavy it's it looks like a jello mold but it's not it's solid brass and it was a dollar and i'm selling it for 9.95 it's very mid-century modern which is big right now and i'm trying really hard for all my mid-century friends to not paint your stuff so like that candlestick i looked it up i'm like okay it's an important designer i'm not painting it and it's sold so i will continue to buy it and not paint it as long as it continues to sell as is. as soon as it doesn't sell it's at risk of the paintbrush because i respect different design points of view until it doesn't sell and then <laughs> and i paint it okay um this was two dollars i you can't tell but the floral that's on here is really cute. The paint job is, I'm not gonna tell you what it looks like, but you can figure it out. It looks like, um, and I'm gonna sell it for $19.95. What does it look like again? But it won't look like that after I'm done with it. Okay, next up, if you guys recall, was it last week or the week before we bought another Dutch it was, doll? Yeah, it was probably from the same donator. So this is like Bavarian or Dutch. I can't remember. It says in the listing. I looked it up. It says Der something. Oh, Der Grun. Price tags over it. Der Grun Punkt. Whatever that is. It was $4 and I'm selling it for $28.95. Not as old as the last doll, but matching. So if it doesn't sell, I'll just pair them together in the shop. 
Okay, chicken's done. Think it turned out pretty good. I did. I mean, everything was super fresh, right? You guys watched me heat gun it. Only did pretty much like one. Leslie, you're getting a good chicken. A little bit of touch up, um, but some of the reds coming through a little bit, which is perfect because it's where it's supposed to be. Uh, and then the rest of it's just got this great detail. It picked up all of that. USA Pottery. This actually already sold. It's a number nine bowl. It's ovenware. I actually thought that it was from England when I first saw it, um, but it's from USA and it's just a great crockery bowl. I love that it's a little bit irregular, really pretty. So I don't leave crockery behind. There will be no crock left behind. I'm gonna try to, well, we're almost through the haul, which is kind of insane because it took me over three hours. You have four minutes. To list it. Mind you, I was laying by the pool trying to maintain boys and helping the boys make dinner while I was listing it, but it still took me three hours. And that was after I photographed it. That probably took me an hour. All right, next up, the Theater Guild Anthology. If this is a first edition, which I don't believe that it is, it could be worth a lot. First edition. I don't think it's old. Show Hold, this please. one. Hold, please. So this is cool. This is uh, the complete works of William Shakespeare and it's got it all in there. It's got the gold on the uh, the pages. I forget what that's called. Not It's not the deckled edge. It's just, anyway, it's gold. Um, but got him up here. Great hardbound book. If you don't really want to read William Shakespeare, but you want to look cool, it's perfect for like a riser where you put stuff on the on your coffee table. I bought it because we have those Italian William Shakespeare bookends. Oh. I was like, well, William's going like, to find him a home in between two other Williams. I feel like this bookend, or this this is going to overwhelm those bookends. You know he was British, though, right? What does that have to do with anything? Well, you mix an Italian. No, they were made in Italy. It oh, but they so have William the Shakespeare on them? They're William Shakespeare. They're made in Italy. Okay, so this first this is first edition. There you go. And I actually saw this book go for uh, like $80 to $100. I'm going to sell it for $39.95. It was going to be $7.95. I didn't realize it when I was pricing it. I'm like, there's no way it's first edition. You I didn't picked even it up look? for like two books. I didn't even look. I was like, I'm going to price it accordingly. And then You're I opened it You're handling it up. like it's a third edition. It's got a little <laughs> bit of pencil marking in here. Let me delicately Someone touch priced it. it at like a used bookstore. But it's a first edition, 1936. Boom. All right. I always love it when I find things like that. That's exciting. Okay. Did I get a tattoo? No, it's weathered wood. He was painting that and I butted up against him. It's got paint, paint I, on her. I can't commit to anything like that. I am unlikely to get a tattoo. Okay, um, this is Shenango, China, Newcastle, Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Little sugar dish. This was from, was this from Sholo too? I think it was. Um, yeah. And it, I think we pay like two bucks and it's $16.95. It would pair well with that other. It's yeah, like the, the same color. color. Really it's good. just a little bit different pattern. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to keep moving along. Here, you want to show them these? Yep. So I'm tired of talking. Hanging so. wall flower baskets. Uh, these galvanized ones, honestly, I think we could just rust them up, maybe throw some IOD transfers on them. If you don't know what IOD is, Iron Orchid Designs makes a bunch of like cool molds and decor transfers and inlays, all kinds of stuff. And it's a long name, so we we shorten it to IOD. Acronyms are fun. Anyway. You said she almost bought that book. You should have bought it before I realized it was first edition. So I still priced it low. These were $2 each. We're selling them for $22.95 each. We had one, was it last week? This sold? And I think one of these already sold. We put IOD on them and seal them up and they're super cute. Yep. Okay, this one's getting painted. It's kind of Mackenzie Childs-esque, which isn't bad, but it's got like a crack in it. I just think it could be cuter. So we're going to repaint it. Um, how much was that? Like two bucks? Yeah, it's $2. I'm going to sell it for $36.95. Um, I plan on spraying it, and then I might come in and do some detail work with a second color. Do some two-tone. <laughs> Leslie said, congrats. Are you congratsing about my first edition? <laughs> it's just <laughs> dumb luck. I bought that book because I was like, that green cover is so pretty. I love the age and wear on it. That is the only reason. All right. All right. If you buy enough junk, you'll get lucky every now and then. Okay, Sunset Pottery made in California. It was a dollar and it's 
this vintage, any California pottery. And I love the salmon color. Like I always pick it up. I actually love the logo on the back. High chance if it lived at our house, it would get eggs put in it. We put eggs in everything. I, I also think it's fun, like where the glazing, see where it like touches oh, yeah. and they glaze it. You know that it's like made carefully, ceramic, amazing. They fix the lines. Where oh yeah, we've been over an hour now. Over an hour, but I'm I'm on the last two items. You're on the last two. We can go I actually, over a little bit. I'm wondering. Oh, congrats to the Facebook winners. Sorry, Caitlin. Um, I will announce those names if you will. Oh, there we go. Okay, Facebook winners are Wendy. These are for the sharers out. Yeah. So people that have shared: Wendy Reynolds, Winder, Francis Beach Miller. Kathy Brown and Lindsay Crittenden email info at jamierayvintage.com with your address and we will mail you some happy mail. Some of the things we mail are stencils, decoupage paper, slightly damaged or irregular paints and waxes. Those are actually worth more, but I can't sell them because they're like dented or whatever. We send those along for happy mail. Okay, Your we sheep? have a little sheep creamer. It's actually a juice pitcher. A juice. That's Google not much. Told me. That's not much juice. Well, it's a big creamer. It so. was a dollar fifty. We're selling it for nineteen ninety five. It's Erica. I'm trying to peel this off without yeah. peeling the, well, the, the tag it's, off. It's collectible. Who knew? I was just like, cute sheep with a bow. Count me in. Are you trying to deal? Originals by Erica. Yep, it's an Erica pitcher. And last but not least, I do believe this already sold. This is, it needs to be cleaned up. This is a Fiesta Ware Baker. Donna told me that these actually retail for like 50, but when I looked them up used, they were like 30 plus dollars. So I priced it at 26.95 and I paid $2. I actually couldn't tell when this was on the cart that it was Fiesta Ware. I thought it might be. And so I was super excited when I flipped it over to see. Now that's a good find, especially in the wilds, finding uh, Fiesta Ware that's, that's that large. I don't think we've ever found one of those before. No, I'm not, I didn't know. That's why I didn't recognize it as Fiesta Ware because I've seen a lot of it, but I just haven't seen like the rectangle or the square bakers. All right, you guys. That's oh, it? No. Oh, the, the big, big painting. The big thing, the big thing in the back of the room here. This is a Zeb buy. We're debating, should we ditch the floral plant and do something new? I think we should. The frame's getting painted either way. It's not great. It's like a taupey, browny, purple mix yeah, they, gold. Like they tried and there's some pink on it. Like it's worn off, I don't know. Yeah. The Anyways. floral is good though. It's And it's got a good matting. So I'll probably leave the matting how it is. And whatever I print, I'll probably try to pull these colors and do something with the gold. Maybe we'll probably pump up the gold on the actual frame. Maybe do white and bring the gold back through um, on the high spots, but it, it needs help. It's going to be good, um, and it's going to be $199.95, and I think we paid $15 for it. Yeah, 15 $15. And if we decide to pull out the original print, we actually had somebody emails that they want it, so we might sell that separately. Um, but I love it. The print is not bad. I just don't think it goes with this frame. But I see, I think that if we paint this frame weathered wood, then it would make it moody to match the print. That's what I want to do. We'll try it first and we'll, we'll see. We'll paint it and then we'll see. Okay. Because it's professionally framed, matted. In it the is back. matted really nicely. Look how beautiful in the back. that is. I can mat it good. They like the print. They said paint. Yeah, Nancy said. Paint the frame first, then decide. Somebody said it's ugly. Somebody said they ditched the mat. We're going to paint the frame, and then we'll let you guys know. I feel like if the frame was painted differently, the mat would work. It's like a really good like forest green and and like a burgundy color together, and I think it would go with red or with the gold. Work. All right, challenge accepted. This next week is going to be exciting. Even though thrift stores are closed on Monday, we've already filmed, so we have a thrifting video coming out Monday. And then this weekend, we are playing, we're not, this is like Friday and Saturday. If you're local, come by the shop. We're planning on having a tent sale. I'm not making any promises till I get something painted and then I'll announce it. But the idea is that Wednesday after Waste Not Wednesday, we are going to clean the barn at the shop and paint like crazy and then have a tent sale um, Friday and Saturday. It should so that'll be, be fun Friday's either video. way. So and you, good deals because we're going to be putting it out in the yards because we don't have really room for it in the shop. That's why it's in the barn. If you thought my garage was a hoarder mess, wait till we have the barn video. The barn it's, doesn't have dust all over it, though, so that's a bonus because that took a long time to clean all that up. But it's got stuff to the max. 
All right, guys, if you need any paint products or the items you saw here tonight, you can visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video and you don't want to miss any of them, then make sure you hit the notification bell and hit subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And I guess I have to say the end and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage. For more DIY. Because <laughs> I already said subscribe. All right. Good it's night, right. guys. Love you. Thanks for joining us. We'll we see went, you next week. We went long. You're allowed to have snafus. Nancy says, I love a barn Oh, cell. that's not a fun acronym. I forgot someone told me what that means. Yeah, You're not allowed to have mistakes. That's or you are allowed to have mistakes. <laughs> Bye, you guys.